Shook it up. Good morning, guys. Today is Tuesday. It is the 3rd of April and I am now five days out from my competition. It's peak week. Yesterday I started peak week and my macros changed to having a high carb day with lower fats and lower protein. Then I also increased my water intake from three liters to four liters and I am ensuring I am getting in my salt as well. I'm also taking one antihistamine every day and I am also taking these these are like water retention tablets i usually have them in the house for after i have a long haul flight because i retain water quite badly these are not a prescription grade water retention tablet they are simply made up of cider vinegar dandelion root and green tea now the best way to drop water is dandelion root you can get that in any health shop you can actually drink it in tea or you can get them in tablet form but i find these work great i got them in just my local pharmacy that is what has changed up so far i've dropped my cardio down from 40 minutes steady state down to 30 minutes for the next couple of days and my training is as normal until tomorrow i'm going to have a rest day and then after that i'll just be doing light circuits for my upper and lower body until show day in every respect it is feeding time at the zoo i made some more of my carrot cake muffins last night i'm having one of them one of decaf coffee usual routine and once those disgusting animals go out to poop i'm gonna do my cardio i've got half an hour to do steady state so i'm just gonna do my stepper so i just want to do it at home i don't want to go to the gym so I'm going to go to the gym later and do a glute and hamstring session. For the past hour I've been working away on my laptop and now I'm going to do my half hour of steady state cardio and then hop in the shower, put some makeup on, make this look halfway decent. I've had a lot of comments saying that I'm looking really lovely right now and that is because I was wearing makeup, guys. This is the reality. This is what my face truly looks like. Makeup free. And I need to wash this hair. I thought today I would take you through something that everyone has been requesting. It's about my hair care routine. Obviously, it's looking gorgeous right now and everyone aspires to have my beautiful greasy locks. But simply put, I don't really do much with my hair. I wash it maybe twice a week and I don't really over style it so just to take you through what I use into the ensuite I don't know if you've been in here before my shampoo simply is Aussie shampoo I just really like the smell of it and I have quite sensitive skin and I don't get any allergies or anything so I always wash my hair twice I don't know whether everyone does that, but I always wash it twice. And then, I don't use the regular Aussie conditioner, I use the three minute miracle moisture one, because I just leave it on. So I wash my hair at the start of my shower, wash it, put the conditioner on, then do all my shaving and body cleansing, all that kind of stuff, while the conditioner is kind of on my hair. I only put it on the ends, I don't put it on the roots, because if I put it on the roots, I get greasy hair. And, shower gel i use this one because i love the smell of it it's the soap and glory i just love soap and glory stuff i know it's a little bit more expensive but i really like it and then i use this cleanser for my face daily microfolian from dermalogica and then i have one of these okay let's face facts we have to shave our legs and our armpits it's just a fact and i use this one because it has kind of this jelly thing on the top and it prevents me from cutting the legs of myself when it comes to the bikini line i'm getting waxed later and i always get waxed because i don't like the way it feels when you shave down there and the hairs start to grow out and it's really sore so i always wax moving on to post shower care for my hair, if I'm wearing it straight or just not really styling it, I always use a tiny bit of this Cowboy Magic. Now, this is actually an equestrian treatment for horse hair, but it works really well. And I just put a little bit on the ends of my hair. If I am planning on curling my hair, I tend not to use as much conditioner and I tend not to use any kind of oils or anything on it because the curl just won't hold in my hair. So I'll use some of this 
big sexy hair. You can't really get it in the UK I'm afraid. I got it in the US and I got it on Amazon but I did pay like a pretty hefty fee for it. Then when it comes to my body I always 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 moisturize and i just change it up really so right now i'm using this coconut island i like to use coconutty smelling things because i like the smell of coconut and i just use that all over my body when it comes to my face i use this on a daily it's the kiehl's super multi corrective cream and I, honestly one time i ran out of it and i used another cheaper brand cream and i broke out in um, spots so I won't be doing that again in a hurry and that's pretty much my basic go-to body skin hair care rituals that I do on a daily I'm gonna go shower now and then I'll show you how beautiful I look when I've done all that because right now like seriously look at me I've got a million freckles which I'm embracing I've got dark circles under my eyes and I have zero makeup on so I'm gonna go and shower and rectify this situation for you and then I actually have to send through some updated photos to my coach so I may as well record while I do that and I can show you an updated physique update from five days out. Today I weighed in at 110 pounds, yesterday I was 109.2 but I did have a high carb day yesterday and it's a higher carb day than I've had previously um, in the last couple of weeks so yeah I weighed in a bit heavier but I did feel great going to bed last night I felt I looked really good after all the carbs so I'll be filling my coaching on that today how good I felt because we're just trying to establish how to go into the day and what to do the day before whether I should have higher or lower carbs the day before so we'll assess that as the week goes on this is me all showered hair done it's still a little bit damp i just ran the hair dryer over it and makeup on so this is the improved version in my opinion and now i'm gonna go and do some photos for my coach and maybe film some posing practice for you guys to give you a little bit of a physique update Everybody put them drinks up, put them up. There's some left, you better drink up. Drink it on X. Oh, you wanna know why? Watch, cause we all gon' bounce. bounce. Now the sun gone down. Don't say money, cause we go all out. Say money. I ain't know I'm gon' flex. Pour it back, back, back it on. We all gon' bounce. bounce. Now the sun gone down. Don't say money, cause we go all out. Yeah, back it on X like a biggie. Big money, more problems, but I still make a milli. Nah, I get a milli at the bank, yeah. spend it on the drink, get the shots, go ahead, get tips. tips. Keep it real, roll back the seat. Hold tight when you ride with me. Hold tight. Watch out. Yeah, we might get off the street. Go from left to the right, hit the curb like. Here is the first course of my breakfast. I'm having an omelette and then I'm going to follow that with some oats. So round two for breakfast is going to be some of these coconut oats, which I have on the pot. I'm opting for oats over bread today. I just kind of want to get more wholesome carbs into me. And then I'm gonna use those carbs for my training. I made Lexa coffee and it's sitting there going cold. And I'm gonna make myself coffee and then go train. Today is Wednesday. I am now four days out from my competition. Yesterday, I had a kind of a medium to high carb day and my fats were back to normal. The day before, I had a high carb day with lower fats. Now today, I'm on a lower carb day with higher fats again. And today, thank goodness, I have a rest day. Sorry, I have my liners in, so I'm kind of lisping a bit. Today, my weight has stayed the same the past two days. I'm in at 110 pounds again. I don't know whether this is actually reflecting how I look or what. Um, I feel, again, quite flat because I just don't have that many carbs in me. I did find that my hands were quite veiny this morning. I still haven't had breakfast, so I'm gonna go and do that now. And I just thought I'd do a quick physique update for you guys, like normal. Later on today, I'm going to record my Q&A 
Oh my god, there's a peasant just running across the field there. So later on today, I'm going to record my Q&A. That should already be up. If you had any questions regarding my prep and regard competing, all that, I'm sure I have probably answered it in the previous Q&A video. So go check that out if you haven't already. And now I'm going to do my physique update as I have yesterday. So you can see progress throughout the days this week. just out of the hairdressers today is Thursday I am now three days out from my competition so yesterday I didn't really get up to much I recorded my Q&A and edited that my friend called over and she brought over some amazing protein snacks which I will show you when I get home now I am off to the gym to do a lower body kind of pump I don't want to it's not gonna be a full workout it's gonna be very light and just a bit of everything lower leg related just to kind of get the food and the glucose circulating but it's not like a proper workout and then I might just take the dogs for a little walk because it's kind of sunny here which is novel for the UK today I am back down to lower carbs and higher fats so today I'm going to have when I get home for my breakfast I'm gonna have a big yolky egg full egg omelette and I'm looking forward to that and that is kind of my day I don't have huge plans so I'm in from the gym I've had my breakfast I'm probably gonna have a snack now but I thought I would do a quick physique update for you guys as I am three days out now casual clothes because I'm done with the gym and everything today and I just want to show you these jeans at the start of my prep they just like they were tight on me they were fitted on me now they have yep there's a good bit of room in them and they still fit me perfectly around the calves because obviously I haven't lost anything around my calves and they're more comfortable around my legs but look at that guys that is what happens when you diet. None of your clothes fit you anymore. So the pros and the cons. Last weekend I actually went to Primark and just bought um, a £13 pair of size 6 jeans. And Primark is small fitting. Normally in regular jeans I wear a size 6 but in Primark jeans I usually wear a size 8. And I just bought a pair of size 6 which is technically a size 4. And guys I've never been a size 4. Like that's just size tiny. So that is what happens when you diet you may have to invest in a few pieces of clothing that fit you that are in a smaller size as i said earlier my friend stephanie called around yesterday and on instagram you can find her she is called the protein queen official this is what she brought me you might be thinking why would one of laney's friends bring her a pizza but upon inspection 
This is no ordinary pizza. Stephanie makes the most amazing protein balls. Now they're made of oats, protein, and they've got peanut butter in there, and they taste amazing. And she started making them into these amazing pizzas. Now this, as she knows, I love peanut butter. So she has made me some of the protein balls, and she has also made me a protein pizza. And look at it, it's so pretty. So go and follow Stephanie. You can get these posted out to you if you're in the UK and they are so, so good. Now the pizzas have more macro, are higher in macros than the balls because obviously the portion size is simply bigger. So per slice of pizza, I'll show you this one as well. She, she made me three pizzas. Now let's eat a slice of this one. This is the birthday cake one. And as you can see, there's like a layer of jam underneath the topping. So per pizza slice, which look pretty decent. The decent slice of pizza there. Per pizza slice, there's 16 grams of protein, 14 grams of carbs, and eight grams of fat. In the balls, which you can keep in the freezer, and Lex actually eats them frozen. Um, in the balls, there are 10 grams of protein, 10 grams of carbs, and five grams of fat. So if you want something a little bit lower in macros, Oh, I just want it now. It smells so good. I know Stephanie watches all these videos, so thank you, Stephanie. You're so sweet. Go check her out on Instagram, and if you fancy ordering some, just DM her, and she'll get them to you. I feel a bit bad that lately I haven't been putting in the effort with Lex's meals. Normally when I make dinner, I make it for both of us so he benefits from what I'm making for myself. But as I have been prepping, I've been making our meals separate and uh, I don't want to spend all my time in the kitchen so I have been a little bit lazy with his food and Lex isn't the best for making his own food. I do have a lot of the ready meals in from Muscle Food which are extremely handy right now and that's his go-to for one of his meals a day. But today, to make up for it, I have made him one of his favourites. It's a cottage pie! It's all cheesy goodness on top. So I'm gonna put that in the oven for him so that he can have it for dinner tonight and tomorrow. And then the next day, we're going to Birmingham to check out the new Gymshark HQ. So I don't have to worry about feeding him. If the cottage pie is something you fancy me making on my cooking channel, which you better be subscribed to, comment down below right now and I'll put that on the list of recipes. If there's anything else that you've seen me make before that you'd like me to make a specific dedicated recipe video for, just comment below as well, because I do want more ideas because after my competition prep, I have to get back on recording more of the cooking videos and get back into that a bit more. Today is Friday. I am two days out from competing and I'm just off to the gym now to do a quick Oh, what have I done to my hair? Um, I'm just off to the gym now to do a quick upper body circuit. Just a high volume session, not gonna get any pump or anything just to get the glycogen circulating. Today is also my last low carb depletion day. And today I weighed in at 108.4 pounds. I'm so happy because I feel like that was my goal weight. I wanted to get down to about 108 pounds. So to be at 108.4, I'm like, yes. Later on this morning, I'm going to drop the dogs to their holidays. They're going to the kennel and we like to call it their holidays and they love it there. And then I'm going to go and get my eyelashes done. So they will be big and fab for stage. And then I just have to pack and get ready and do some posing practice, stuff like that. So ee, nearly there tomorrow. Tomorrow we go to Birmingham and we'll check into the hotel and we will also go to see Jim Shark. I'm gonna do my last posing practice before tomorrow and before I get my tan on and I'm super excited and now you get to see my bikini. Now beware, I don't have any tan on so I will look a hell of a lot better with tan on. It covers up a multitude of flaws and check out my lashes. How amazing are they? Showgirl lashes. So let's go. Superman, I spend my time flying high, going round, but I'm always getting wayside. Some people trying to shit on me. I said, Go, you can sit on me. Cause bitch, they be hating on me. Bitch, they be hating on me. Yeah, I ball on this. Yeah, I ball for free. I ball on this for free. Clark Kent might be super OG, but Lois 
ain't got nothing on me Nah, Miss Lane, you got nothing on me See, I ball, you know me No, I didn't need to save the day Saturday morning and I've got one day left we are just about to head to Birmingham I weighed in at 108.4 pounds today and today I'm in a cute little outfit so I've got this denim jacket which is I think it's misguided but it's from ASOS no glamorous from ASOS and it's got all studs all over it this is a sun cami dress is from Forever 21. I have a long sleeve crop tee on, which is from Zara. And I got me some grey snakeskin Doc Martin boots, which I got from eBay. So I think this is a pretty cute outfit. No? Yeah? So I don't even know where to start. before the show. What have you gone for? I went for sweet potato fries with some fats and carbs. And then I got a chicken burger without the bun for, again, a little bit of protein and some more fats. And some like bacon and cheese on it. And I had a sympathy meal of the gravy crazy something or other, which was, you had some of it. It was a popcorn shrimp, chicken breast, beef burger, gravy, fries. Pre-prep competition prep pre-day meal. Done. Done, done, done. Done, done, done. Done, done. Woo! Early morning, ladies at breakfast, and I just picked up this little camera from TGI's, as we left it there last night. The lovely people of Birmingham are very, very honest. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, fly them all to Paris, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would cloudy, and we would dance, and we would throw up all them hands until they turn to clouds. Yeah, I got you now, if I only had a hundred fans. Life's too short to be an asshole. 